Asphalt 9 Legends is considered by many as one of the strongest racers on the Switch. A significant improvement from its mobile predecessors, the Switch port brought noticeable changes to its graphics and design. Whether on docked or handheld mode, there are so many details to appreciate. Like all free games, Asphalt 9 is no stranger to microtransactions. A wait mechanic means you don't always get to race online. You'll either have to stop playing or purchase the necessary resources to return to the racetrack. And the lack of cross-platform support means that you might not find a lot of players in your skill level. But it's not always bad. The Switch port handles a lot of things well. The split-screen mode allows you to play with friends locally, you can share Joy-Cons and revel in the four-player local split-screen. Even if the game runs out of players, you can always grab a friend and enjoy casual racing offline. The game's seasonal updates add new cars to collect and various goodies for car enthusiasts. Welcome to Super Animal World. It's like this super duck who is about to be. In the days of PUBG and other battle royales, Super Animal Royale followed suit with some light-hearted player versus player clashes. Since the Switch can't handle big shooters like Call of Duty, the 64-player BR found the perfect platform for its traditional top-down 2D format. The cross-play support means there's no shortage of players, although you might want to brush up your skills before facing off against PC sweats. Its microtransactions come in the form of new animals to play and weapons to collect. These are purely cosmetic and don't lean on any pay-to-win elements. There's a lot of fun to be had here, and the game continues to bring new content with its regular seasonal updates. Pokemon combined with MOBA mechanics is a recipe for success, which is why Pokemon Unite had 9 million downloads in its first month alone and continues to make bank to this day. Its frenetic 5v5 combat is a playground where dangerous Pokemon duke it out using their staple elemental abilities. There are over 50 Pokemon to choose from, each having unique abilities that shake up the battlefield. The microtransactions have been a cause for concern since launch. They enhance the Pokemon's ability, seemingly giving whales an unfair advantage. Some might argue that there are other ways to get good, but it's still a touchy subject in the community. On the plus side, there's at least cross-play if you prefer to play with iOS and Android players. Phoenix Labs Monster Hunter clone has come a long way since 2019. Even if it barely scratches the surface of its original, Dauntless introduced competition to the Monster Hunter formula. Dauntless free-to-play model offers a great alternative for players who can't afford the Capcom franchise. It's an accessible action game where you hunt monsters and make weapons out of their body parts. Microtransactions are purely cosmetic. It's completely optional unless you want to go for the fashion endgame and give your characters drip. While the game isn't really dead, there haven't been major updates for a while. The good news is that a huge update is coming this summer and players are eager to get their hands on it. The developers are promising big things, from increased challenge to better rewards and more monster variety. This party game may have fallen from the top trends, but it has attracted a loyal player base that's in it for the goofs and fun. The popularity of Fall Guys skyrocketed during the pandemic, and to this day, the game is still getting a lot of content. You can still look forward to seasonal updates and frequent collaborations with third-party franchises. These are all purely cosmetic, of course. And with its recent shift to a free-to-play model, more players can get on this wacky game show either with friends or a couple of strangers. The Switch is a great system to play this with since you can just drop in and drop out any time. However, with its hardware limitations, expect downgrades in the visuals. Mind if we cut in? Blizzard's competitive hero shooter was a game-changer when it came out eight years ago. This sequel is a rebranding that changed it for better or for worse. Overwatch 2 on the Switch isn't up to par compared to the PC and console experience. The cost of performance and visuals can be jarring, but it still is an enjoyable FPS and a chance for new players to experience what Overwatch is all about. Apart from its 5v5 change, the battle passes and buyable skins can be off-putting for players who just want to play. Unlike the old loot box mechanic, the bundles are expensive and only shows how much money you spent on the game. But even with all that hullabaloo, Overwatch 2 is in a decent state right now. At least it's on the right track with a healthy met, a growing player base, and a recent resurgence in esports. This may come as a surprise, but this decade-old superhero MMO is still active to this day. DC Universe Online celebrates DC's collection of iconic comic book characters. It was the go-to place for fans who wanted to make their own superhero journey and play their favorite heroes. It doesn't live up to its former glory, but there are still about 100 players active every day. 
Unfortunately, with no crossplay, the Switch might have a hard time finding other players. You can just fly right in with your custom hero and follow the main story, or wait for peak hours online to gather a team of like-minded heroes. The game has a premium version if you want to skip through all that grinding, but you can always try the free-to-play version to check your interest. Game on, world. The Switch has a variety of card games at your disposal, but Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is among the best, with its competitive leaderboards and an esports community. Of course, this isn't also limited to players who want to climb up the ranks. Master Duel has plenty of options for you to get right into the d -d 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 duels with its easy-to-pick-up deck building. Since this is a trading card game, there are microtransactions if you want to get the best cards early. The good news is that it's optional and you can still grind or craft gems if you don't want to open your pockets. This MOBA game made it outside of China and into international markets. Arena of Valor shares the same mechanics as its MOBA peers, where you control heroes with their own set of abilities in a 5v5 format. It's the closest thing the Switch has to a League of Legends game. Arena of Valor has a steady esports scene in Southeast Asia. Unfortunately, there's been a decrease in players in Europe and America over the years. You can purchase in-game currency to unlock skins, heroes, and other items. It's completely optional, and you can still enjoy the game without it. The 1990 Nintendo classic that defined the racing genre is back, but it's not what you think it is. F-Zero 99 is still the same F-Zero, but with the added appeal of the Battle Royale mechanic. 99 players race against each other in nostalgic levels that still have the original music. The goal is to outlive other racers using new tools like speed boosts and energy meters. The last racer takes the crown. Players can unlock new color schemes for their vehicles by completing objectives. A Nintendo Switch Online subscription is required to play online. If you want to chill with strangers, Sky Children of the Light is a great pick. It's a serene MMO that's all about making friends as you soar across a gorgeous and vibrant world. There's no shooting each other or becoming the last man standing, it's just pure vibes. If you're familiar with Journey, this follows the same format. You go on what seems to be a solitary quest, only to be met with players who want to help out. It's a silent adventure, but the game helps you forge connections in unique ways. The devs are still pushing new content with a seasonal model. They add new bits and pieces to the world, as well as new emotes and costumes. For a game as peaceful as this, Sky's microtransactions can be expensive and predatory. Thankfully, they're all just cosmetics you can ignore to focus on flying and making friends. The world's leading battle royale is also on the Switch, and it's favorable at best. Yeah, maybe the Nintendo Switch player has gotten better since the last couple of years I played this. If you're keen on visuals and performance, you might not find it in this Switch port. However, this is still a great way to play. Fortnite's live service has evolved over the years, and it's now playground of crossovers and crazy game modes. It's slowly becoming a virtual hub for players of all types. The skins can be alluring for new players, but they're all cosmetic. There are a few ways to get them, but they require real money, so tread carefully when you browse the shop, otherwise you might impulse buy that Zeus skin. Tetris hasn't changed much, but it has gotten bigger. Tetris 99 is essentially a battle royale experience where you survive other players in classic Tetris fashion. It's a great exercise to improve your reflexes, and with so many great players out there, it'll test your patience too. Although this is a free-to-play game, it isn't technically free. Like f 99, there isn't much to do offline, so you'll need an active Nintendo Switch online to enjoy. The microtransactions aren't much to roll your eyes at. They're all aesthetic upgrades that let you switch it up with colorful backgrounds, shiny blocks, and music. Rocket League is the game to play if you want a quick pickup on the Switch. It's completely free, and you're bound to sink in hours into its vehicular soccer gameplay. There's a healthy balance of fun and competition in Rocket League. You can always opt for quick matches that don't sweat you out, or dive into its ranked mode where you get to push your skills to the limit. Don't worry, the game also has crossplay. With its seasonal content updates, there are more options for you to kit out your rocket-powered baby with a selection of cosmetics. A lot of players aren't happy with the expensive pricing, but they're completely optional. You don't need them to reach the upper echelons of the league. The Tenno have remained steadfast over the years, considering its many competitions. It's been through a lot of changes over the course of a decade, but the devs remain consistent in pouring in new content to keep its loyal players engaged. Right now, there are a total of 17 free major expansions that provide a variety of content. You hear that, Bungie? 
like huge open world planets to explore, a roguelike mode, new story campaigns, and so much more. Every update also brings new Warframes, though most of them are paywalled or require a lot of grind time. All that adds up to a sci-fi trip that provides more than a thousand hours of game time. Sure, it can be a bit overwhelming to explore everything it offers, but then again, there's a wholesome community that can help beginners in their journey. The crazy part? The Switch port has all of these expansive game modes, including crossplay. This comes at the cost of visuals and performance, but it's still a treat to dive into its massive free-to-play world. 